Hey, everybody, and welcome to another enthralling installment of the Brutally Honest podcast. This is Eric. With me is my co-host, Rick. Hey, guys, this is Rick. Uh, you can find me at Brutal Gamer on the Xbox Editor, and you can find me at Twitter at DocBrown303. And we got Jason, and, too. Uh, and I went to cut you off, which is always fun. <laughs> uh, and, this, and this is Jason, uh, editor-in-chief at BG, and you can find me at Jason underscore T-A-S. Oh, man, there's got some of those tigers behind you, Jason, I think. <laughs> yes, I think I think we do. For those uh, who are listening, I am at the same uh, oh. <laughs> I'm I'm trailing off. <laughs> I am derezzing as we speak, <laughs> and I am dangerously close to the tiger exhibit, and I may be killed at any time. There we go. <laughs> that seems perfectly uh, reasonable. Okay, so this week Jason is actually, as he just said, I don't know if we could hear that coming through though. He's out in San Diego, and he was actually at Comic Con. So you want to go into that a little bit, Jason? How was it? Yeah, sure. Uh, Comic Con is, as always, it's a great time. To, uh, Really terrific, tons of stuff to see. You know, one of the biggest entertainment events in about anywhere, and probably second to the Super Bowl uh, in the U.S. as far as general entertainment goes, um, in terms of scope. Um, New York is is really climbing up there really fast um, in of terms of attendance. Yeah, yeah, big time. Um, but uh, San Diego will always be a little extra magical. All right. <laughs> you kind of trailed off there at the end. <laughs> it was uh, I fell asleep, because... actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What was the coolest thing you saw out there, Jason? Um, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, always tough to, it's always tough to pay because of what's here. Um, yeah. But, uh, let's see, probably the coolest stuff. Um, there's a, I, I'm a big Masters of the Universe fan, and there's, um, mm-hmm. there's these two um, really cool like jumbo sized figures with tons of accessories, interchangeable heads and stuff like that coming. Wow. Nice. Uh, some like, how big uh, are you talking about? Like jumbo, uh, you know, like 12 inch, okay. um, life but size. Kind of, yes. Life size. <laughs> no one realizes he man is really man. short. <laughs> <laughs> He's only five it's, foot. It takes place on Kirby planet. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's the tallest of the short people though. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, but cool. those yeah those are really cool um but uh, you know that it's a spectacle yeah there there's you know the cosplay booths are like outrageous you know okay. fox Fo- yeah fox did a whole um temple of apocalypse kind of a thing um oh, where did really yeah where you could then go what's that that's amazing Oh yeah, it was really cool. Um, and you could go in, and then they had a VR headset thing where you actually toured, like the um, burial chamber. It, it's it's cool <laughs> stuff. That's cool. And uh, they had a giveaway as well that actually uh, is becoming a little bit of a, an issue. Um, yeah. They, they had. I don't know if you guys have been following it, but um, in the movie the, uh, Apocalypse, there's a uh, an album. Um, which is a Easter egg for the character Dazzler. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the uh, in Comic Con, they gave away a mock album uh, okay. made up to look like that if you pre-ordered the movie. And the artist um, who actually did it is actually a really well-named artist. I'm going to murder his last name, um, so I'm not even going to going to try to attempt. Um, but he off about it and give him any credit at all and apparently call him to say hey we're going to use you know your artwork you know can we give, mm, like, give you a sample it's like it's kind of like you know artist abuse um, yeah. <laughs> as, as far as that goes and he's pissed yeah I would be yeah. too um, did wow, you catch cool. any movies preview movies or uh, they do um, they had um, they had uh, Killing Joke but I didn't get a chance to see it although I've heard some mixed things about that um, yeah, I've, I've heard the same thing. Uh, what do What are your feelings on that on the Batgirl thing? <sighs> I don't know, man. I've heard. I, I almost went and saw it myself when I was coming out the theaters, but I chickened out because I was too scared to go by myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't know. I've I've read. I have a couple good friends from high school who are really into Batman, and they think it's awesome. 
Um, but then, you know, I have a couple other friends who said that the whole prologue thing was just really disjointed and it didn't really fit into the movie because it was written by someone else. So, I mean, I don't know. I've heard both ways. I thought the artwork looked great. You know, the animation was terrific looking. I, if it, if it stuck to the killing joke, I, I know I would have loved it, but I don't know about the new stuff. Yeah, if it, if it, would have, it would have only been like a 25 minute movie if they was just a killing. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> They had to flesh it out a little. <laughs> yeah, they had to big time. And then the whole sex scene between Barbara Gordon and Batman. I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. It's uh, that's, weird. that's so far out of town. Uh, it is out of character. It's really out of character, but sometimes, like, I don't know. I've seen a couple Batman stories where there's, like, sexual tension between them. Like, the original, or not the original, but there was a reissue of the Batgirl comic, and I forgot who wrote it and drew it, but it was, like, maybe the early 2000s and it was when she it told her origin story again but it was like a lot more in depth um okay. there was like sexual tension between those two before she found out it was bruce wayne like she was attracted to batman and that was kind of cool i like i was digging that okay. so that's cool but i don't know about the whole relationship i mean i don't know yeah it's just because you know I mean, it, batman has been linked to all kinds of female characters anyway it just it seems it just seems odd because he this is like one that he was never linked yeah, it's like he like looked at her as a daughter. So right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, and that makes it extra crazy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Batman's just into some creepy stuff. Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, while I was out here, I actually did catch a few movies. I saw Star Trek Beyond. Oh yeah, and um, Jason Bourne. Um, nice. Both were pretty good. Star Trek Beyond was. I really like Star Trek Beyond. That's what I keep hearing as well. It's really good. It's really, really worth your time, especially if you're a Star Trek fan. It's great. It wasn't too Fast and Furious for you, was it? <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm not a fan of like the more actiony take on Star Trek that these movies seem to have had. I mean, they're okay, but it's not like mm-hmm. Star Trek, and I'm a big fan of like, the timeline. Um, but uh, I really like this one a lot. It's really good. Yeah, I'm going to have to go check that out. uh... All right, cool. You guys want to move on, or do you want to keep talking about San Diego (laughs) Comic-Con? Well, if you guys have any questions or anything, just shoot them my way. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I have any questions. It's just, there's nothing. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I don't know. I feel like if there was something worth mentioning, you would have mentioned it, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like there's there's a ton of coverage on the website. You know what? Let me say this. Let me let me do this, and you can uh, maybe edit this in. Um, there's tons and tons of stuff on the website, and there's stuff going up this week also. Um, I've got a couple of booth tours coming up. There's some Star Wars stuff. There's more comic book stuff. So if you um, if you want to check out San Diego Comic Con stuff, definitely hit the expo uh, cons and expo tab. Um, at the top of the page, and we will have a lot more stuff that's coming. There you go. So you can read more in depth about everything Jason mentioned, and uh, I'm sure there's more stuff there too. Oh yeah, so. our whole site is jam packed of San Diego Comic Con information. It's almost yeah, too it packed. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to tip over. Oh, exactly. All right. Well, let's move. I guess we can move on to the uh, free games for August. Um, yeah. For Xbox, Xbox one. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, for Xbox, we have Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate and WWE 2K16 for the Xbox One. And the 360 is getting Spelunky and Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil 3 HD, not 3D. Mm. So, <laughs> That's a shame. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any experience with almost any of these games, no. actually. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. I haven't either. I, I've played Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Um, I reviewed it for the site, actually. So, um, But I don't know how much of uh, similarities these two games are going to have. I, I think they might have a lot, because there's not a lot to these games that, other than hack and slash, a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, uh, Some might say they're all the same. Rebel Galaxy and Tricky Towers for PS4, and Yakuza 5, and Retrograde. PlayStation 3 and Pat Upon 3 for the Vita and Ultratron for PS3, Vita, and so. Have you guys uh, played any of these games? 
Uh, no, I haven't, but I want to get Rebel Galaxy really badly, and I'm going to try Tricky Towers, just because it looks like something I can play with my girlfriend. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This what is, is uh, Tricky what's this? Or go ahead. I was just going to say, what is Tricky Towers? Looks like a Tetris knockoff. Okay. It looks like a, yeah, it looks like a Tetris game, but instead of trying to destroy, uh, you know, like, uh, height, you're trying to build height. You're trying to get as far as you can. Like, build it as tall as you can. Okay. So, That's I don't know. Cool. I'll give it a try. Can't go wrong with free. No. Exactly. Definitely exactly. not. So, what I was saying to um, to Eric was that uh, the WWE game, that yeah. 16, I'm definitely going to get that because I'm always interested in trying these, but I haven't played one in years. Yeah. Um, it just seems like they always come out. And there's bad reviews or like mediocre <laughs> reviews, so I don't bother. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of on board with you. I was pretty excited about hearing about that because it's free, and I'm like you. I, I the only wrestling game I ever liked was on the 64. That wrestling yep, game, was my favorite. So anything outside of that, oh man, what was that one called, Jason? Uh, um, well, you might be talking about WrestleMania 2000 or No Mercy, or. I, um, no, NWO. it was before. It was before it had any of the name. That it was just WWF, the very first one. It didn't have anything tied to it. The very first one. Yeah. On N sixty four. Yeah. I think it might have been WrestleMania two thousand. Okay. All right. But yeah, that was my favorite one. Um, but no, I'm pretty excited about just to play this. Uh, my buddy yeah. loves wrestling games, and he loved this one. So, you know, I'll give it a try. It's free. Yeah, exactly. No harm done. And I, I'm pretty stoked for Spelunky. I always wanted to get that game, but I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for it, so I'm excited about that. And then I've never played Beyond Good and Evil, so I'm also excited for that one. Yeah, I never played that one either, but I've heard such amazing things about it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there was only one wrestling game I ever played, and it was also on the Nintendo 64. Now I'm wondering if it could possibly be the same one. I mean, but no. WWF? A war zone. Mm. I don't know anything about it, so there we go. I, I have uh, very fond memories of Warzone. <laughs> I, I liked making like real fat and real skinny characters. <laughs> like, like, that was what I did when I was like, five or eight, whatever. I was. <laughs> so, yeah, why not? Um, you know. Right. The nuance sense of humor of an eight year old. There it is. Right. <laughs> Warzone was Warzone was fun. It was it was like mindless though. It was just like button mashing and you know, more like a fighting game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my Xbox Live subscription ran out, I believe. So I might oh, actually re uh, uh, uh. I've also been looking at the killer instinct. So, you know, maybe maybe this will be uh, the month I do it. Killer yeah. Instinct is fun. Yeah, I, I've been on a kick for fighting games recently. I've been spending a lot more time. You know, we'll talk about this when we get to the what are we playing. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, anybody else have anything to mention about the PlayStation Plus and uh, Xbox games for this month? Otherwise, we're about to uh, head into our Nicolas Cage talk. I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would like to mention Marvel Ultimate Alliance because I've been hearing some oh. really crazy things. Oh. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about this. Um, so, kind of a little background about this is this game, they released the Marvel Alliance 1 and 2, re-released it onto the BC program, the backward compatibility program, and um, it was kind of, they didn't tote it as a full remastered, but they said that, um, whoa. Yeah, some, that was a cart. <laughs> yeah, I guess the studio who redid the or remastered it was called Raven Studio or something. And well, all they did is they just fixed the UI to make it look a little flashier, and then they sent it out. And um, you could only buy it through the Xbox Marketplace. You couldn't go back to the old disc and use them for some reason. They didn't work. Um, and each game is forty bucks by itself, or sixty dollars for two of them. And there's no DLC, even though uh, as of yet there's still no DLC. But the CEO of Raven Studio said that they'll be releasing the DLC sometime later. It's ridiculous. Yeah, really? I, mean, I mean, that's it's, it's, it's so stupid. Yeah, it, it is. It it, it just. It, I mean, how do you mess this up? These are like two of the best Marvel <laughs> games of all time. Seriously, I seriously. 
So what do you do? What is it? Like, what? explain. And like, <laughs> so um, it's an isometric game, um, and you just get to pick your characters, and then it's just button mashing, and you just beat the crap out of everything. And yeah. then you can, um, in the first one, they didn't have it. In the second one, you could do combo um, superpowers. Um, so you have, like, your punch buttons and your jump buttons, and then you have these secondary superpowers. So, like, if you're Cyclops, you can have his optic blast, or if you're Magneto, you can, like... Um, I forgot he had this cool power because I was always Magneto, but um, it's kind of along those lines. And then you just go down these uh, storyline and just kind of experience the storyline. So, yeah, it, the, and, and there were tons and tons and tons of superheroes you could play as. You could make, yeah, um, like all the classic teams if you wanted. You could mash them up, but you could also make like the Fantastic Four. You could make the yep. X Men. I mean, it was great. That sounds cool. Well, not for sixty dollars. It doesn't sound cool. But, you know. No, I mean, it's, it's just awful because the first game, the DLC broke, like it came out and there was four classic characters. It was like Magneto, Cyclops, the Juggernaut, and maybe like Nightcrawler. And Night like Juggernaut. halfway, or yeah, halfway through the game or the game's life cycle, the DLC broke. So you couldn't use it anymore. That's right. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then Marvel Alliance 2 came out and it, they did a, they did their own take on Civil War and it was a pretty decent game. And it was cool in that sense because there was two different games you could play essentially you could play cap side or you could play iron man side and then you just battled each other and i mean it was just it was just a lot of fun so i'm pretty i'm really disappointed that this happened because they said that the dlc is going to come out later but you know what if you have to pay for it i mean that's even more money on top of these games and i get maybe they're trying to you know popularity of marvel right now and then trying to get a bunch of kids and um that just didn't play it when they came out 10 years ago Uh, i i get the marketing ploy but man I think they, I'm just, this pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I, when I saw that these were getting re-released, they were kind of on my radar. And then I saw that they were 40 each or 60 total. And then I said, nope, not doing that. Not going to yeah. work. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I just told my buddy not to buy them. I told him to try to speak with your wallet. So that's what I'm trying to do. It's just not, I'm just not going to buy them until yeah, I, I fix heard, it and I lower the price. The, it was a pretty shoddy port. Um, and it's just to, to do all that kind of stuff and not give you the DLC and yet charge a premium price. I mean, that's it's a little ridiculous. I mean, look what um, look what they did with Gears of War Remastered. It was only $40, and you got a ton of stuff. I mean, you got a ton of stuff. You got all the original maps, and they remade the maps. They went in there and redid all the maps. So, I mean, I don't know. It's a shame. No, I think I think you're right. You know, it's it's very disappointing for me because I was really looking forward to these. Me too. Um, and it's just to to see so many strikes against it. It's just it's. I, I really hope they fix it because I want to play them again. Um, I do too. But it, it's right now. I, I yeah, I, I couldn't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at some point down the line, I am going to buy these because it's a, yep. it's a fun game. Eric, you could probably play these with your girlfriend too. Like, yeah. uh, it's four player co op, like on couch co op, which is amazing. Or they can do it over the internet. Um, <laughs> funny story. When the first one came out, Jason, do you remember how awful it was to try to connect with other people through <laughs> yeah, Xbox sure. Live? Oh my god, dude. This thing Eric would like it was like an old school modem and it would just like sit there and spin and spin and spin <laughs> and you'd be like ten minutes and you'd like lobby found and you'd go in there and it'd just drop you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was the most annoying thing ever. You know, I, I never played that much online, but I, every single time I tried to on the arena, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what happened. Well, my buddy had it, and we were like, so um, we're just our minds are blowing that we like we could go play online with each other because he lives all the way yeah. out in New York, and we were okay. like, let's do this, and it would take like twenty <laughs> minutes to set it up, and we'd just be like hanging out. And that in that time, you know, we didn't have cell phones, so you're just like picking up your landline. You're like, are you connected yet? And you're like, nope, just hanging out. <laughs> All right, wait five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a few. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pretty uh, funny. Xbox Live was so wonderful back then. <laughs> it was <laughs> <laughs> so great, so great. I mean, the first game that I played with any regularity on Live was Halo Two. Um, yeah, for the multiplayer. Um, and by then it was good, but yeah, it was. It, the, the early, I mean, the early games, were, that was really funny. 
I think outside of Marvel, I didn't really play Marvel Arts, but I think my first game plan on Xbox Live was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, okay. I played, I must have played that game like a full time job. I just played it for hours straight. <laughs> I don't think you're alone on that one. I don't oh that. my god! No, dude. Oh man! And because you know, it was a it was a race to get a Jedi or a hero. You know, right. so you just yeah. go out there and you just blow everything away as quick as possible. And then as soon as you got a hero or a villain, you're pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Battlefront Three. That's why I haven't picked that game up because I I don't know, just don't like it. Oh, just I, Battlefront. Yeah. Beta do it for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. A, it's tough. That's another right. game I'm really disappointed with you too. I just I just did not get into that game. I thought it was pretty as all hell. It was yep. the most amazing game. I got that game for free and I just don't even play it. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. I you know, I, I don't I really don't play it either. I mean I got it because a friend of mine who just moved out of state was getting it. And the idea was that we were gonna play together and it just we I don't we no, we haven't. We haven't played once. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just not an exciting game. So, yeah. I mean, they're adding more stuff, I guess, and and there's supposed to be a sort of campaign even at some point, but I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe in Battlefield Two when it comes out next year after mm-hmm. Battlefield One. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So, uh, guys, I have an important thing to tell you. All right. <laughs> Do you guys know that Nicolas Cage was once a bird and a wizard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he what I understand. <laughs> this morning. Um, Jason, have you not seen The Apprentice? No, I haven't. But no. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's really, it's not that bad a movie. I, I kind of enjoyed it. Oh, get out of here. I, I'm not. I'm, ju- I'm not lying. I kind of enjoyed it. I mean, it's kind of hokey, you know. He's like this a thousand year old wizard or something, and he's got to <laughs> find his. He's got to find his apprentice. So that guy from uh, what is it? Ah, oh, that guy from that FX show, Jay something. I don't know, but uh, he's the apprentice, and uh, you know he's a nerd. So he's like. Um, I don't know. He's just your typical nerd. He doesn't go out or anything. So, and then Nicholas Cage comes and finds him, and he's like, "You're gonna be my apprentice," and teaches him all this stuff. And I think uh, I don't want to say Rasputin, but that might be the evil bad guy because every time there's an evil wizard, it's Rasputin. So. <laughs> Rasputin's finest movie was Hellboy, by the way. Um, it was. That, it was. That, that sounds really freaking horrible, and I need to say or. I might go as far as the Anastasia anime, or not anime, but the animation. He was pretty good in that, too. Yes, that is true. I remember that. Um, My favorite Nicolas Cage movie, by the way, and I I mentioned this uh, when we were chatting uh, um, the other day, uh, was Face Off. Uh, Legitimately legitimately good movie. I love that movie. That movie is, I love that movie. I remember seeing that in the theater, and it just blew my mind. Yep. And that was, I thought that like every John Woo movie was going to be like the greatest action movie of all time. I saw <laughs> yeah. that movie. Me too. I, I was, was like, so oh stoked. And then I saw Mission Impossible 3 and then I was like, yep. I'm done with you, John Woo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I like those movies. I like the Mission Impossible movies too, but oh man. Too. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was just so bad. That part where he opens the door and those doves fly by. <laughs> <laughs> It's so John Woo. I know. Oh, man. I can't believe Tom Cruise let that happen. I would have been like, this isn't happening. I know. I know. Wasn't there, wasn't there like a really ridiculous motorcycle scene in that movie? too? Yeah. And they're like spinning around on the ground with their bikes for like two minutes. And then they like pull them back up and they speed back at the same speed. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like jousting or something. <laughs> Oh my god, but face off, face off is yeah. legit. That is a good It is legit. That is the best. Um I that might be my favorite too. I also like Gone in 60 Seconds. I thought that was a pretty good flick. You know, um, I never saw that. Oh, you should go check that out. Um and then and then my least favorite might be Wicker Man. <laughs> oh god, Wicker Man. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad memories of Wicker Man. <laughs> oh my god! I, it took me like four times to sit through that movie, and I just catch it every time it's on. But I was like, I got to see the end of this. I've already sat through like four, two hours of it. So 
<laughs> and then the end, I was just like, that. yeah. And then the end, you're just like, what did I just watch? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I never <laughs> saw the original, but I guess a lot of people like the original. But I, I just that's what I heard. It. The original is a weird. Film. Is it? Yeah. Um, I saw the first <laughs> 45 minutes of it, and then I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a good right. one, huh? I guess it's good. I don't think shit. A lot of a lot of winner. naked dancing and incest, it seems, so I stopped oh, watching it. Can... What? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's what it's yeah. So uh yep, turn it off. But that's not saying it's a bad movie, I'm just saying I didn't finish it. Uh, You're just Eric, saying what's your uh, Eric, what's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Uh yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a Nicolas Cage movie all the way through. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you have. Yes, you have. He's in every <laughs> movie. <laughs> I mean, I know that he's in a bunch of movies. I guess I like the premise of Face Off, and you guys said that's <laughs> Man, yeah. You... He was in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> he, likes, he just likes making movies. Have you seen how many Netflix movies he's made in the past, like, five years? No, I have yeah. not watched them. Dude, he's made like eight movies. He's like almost as bad as Adam Sandler right now on Netflix. They're just like oh. shoveling him money. They're like, he's like, yeah, I'll keep making movies. Hey, why not? <laughs> Dude, he's a. Uh, oh man, what was the last one? I didn't see it, but I read the thing on it, and he's like some kind of Christian leader or something, I think. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? You know, uh, he's prolific. He really is. Oh my god, he is. There was a there was a movie that I actually reviewed for, for PG that oh, I, I yeah. totally forget the name of it now, but uh, I know plays, what you're talking about. You, you know the one? Okay. Yeah, he's uh, it's him and Hayden Christian Sin. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Sin. Man, what was the yes. name of it? Christian Sin. Sin. He plays, <laughs> he plays a uh, a warlord. Yeah. Uh, in Asia, for some reason. And they, they, never, they never tell you where exactly. Which really fr- frustrated the hell out of me. <laughs> it's, they never tell you where or when. But it's kind of like in the Middle Ages. And he's he, he fought in the Crusades. And now he's a warlord or something like that in Asia. And he's really weird. Like, kind of like, you know, he, he almost comes across as kind of like he's got some kind of like mental issues in the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's terrible and great. I saw that one Nicolas Cage movie. I don't know if this is the same one. <laughs> Called uh, Lord of War. <laughs> no, no. That's, that's, that's a good movie, movie, actually. That's a great yeah, that, movie. That, you know what? That is a good movie. I, mm-hmm. I've seen I, that movie. I saw it forever ago, but uh, I, that was one I've seen. So he was in Warlord and Lord of War. Man. <laughs> that's a lot of war. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. You know, it's, it's kind of funny because he's made some good movies. I mean, he's, he has. He really has. But I don't know. Lately, it's like just tons of like small stuff that kind of like not the best written. And, but I, um, he, he's. I mean, he's done some good stuff. Oh yeah, he was also kick ass. He was Big Daddy, and he was freaking oh, phenomenal in that role. I totally yeah. forgot about that. And you're right. Yeah. He was fantastic. Yep, yep, he was, and I'll 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 go out on a limb and say it: the first National Treasure, he that was a pretty good flick. I, I dug that one. You know what? I'll agree with you, and I actually, I I can not that they're great movies, but I'll I'll can tolerate. Was it? There's three National Treasures, I think. In the, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they're all they're all decent, but the first one is yeah. really good. I like the first one. It was, uh, I think that. it was directed by Christopher Columbus, the guy who did the uh, first. Um, I think it was the first Harry Potters. Oh, really? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. It was okay. Benjamin. Oh, John Turtletob. Oh, no shit. Okay, that guy wrote a lot of cool um, sci-fi movie or books back in the seventies. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, that's, that's cool. You know, National Treasure has such a great like um, Indiana Jones kind of a vibe. It did. It did, and that's why I dug it. But then the, you know, I tried to sit through the second one, and it was like a completely different movie. Like there's not yeah. that that feel was like call, like gone, so yeah. that's why I stopped that's watching. True. Yeah, I, I've I've seen I I think there are three of them. And I've I've seen them all, but and they're pretty decent. But yeah, the first yeah. one was first one was really kind of special. It's a good movie. 
Yeah, all right. Should that, is that enough Nicholas Cage talk? <laughs> that's, that's probably enough because I have a feeling we lost the entire audience. With that. Yeah. They just signed off there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Eric, what are you playing currently? Oh, oh what a segue. I, yeah. was, it, was so, it was so nuanced and subtle. Right? <laughs> oh, uh, um, I was saying before the show, before we started recording, I'm, reco- I'm playing through Mario and Luigi Super for the Game Boy Advance, but I'm playing it on the Wii U Virtual Console. Nice. Um, okay. I'm enjoying By it. By the way, it's- just, just for the record, um, my, my uh, headphones cut out at the perfect moment, and I heard you're playing through Mario and Luigi Soup. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's accurate as well. Um, <laughs> no, um, you know, people who complain that the new Paper Mario games aren't RPGs like the old Paper for Mario, should really give these games a play, because they're pretty similar. And yeah. anybody who says otherwise just has a nostalgia, you know, whatever, for old mm-hmm. Paper Mario. These games, this is good. It's a good game, and I'm going to play through the rest of the series when I finish this one. It sounds I like you're in a marsh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the it's all these birds, and they're like, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yes oh boy, uh, i'm in looks like this big outdoor area and there's like people everywhere and i'm like keep constantly trying to move to get to it quiet. sounds like you're in the marsh like and you're just like with all these birds i'm currently hacking my way through a swamp <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to take this podcast. <laughs> While well, I'm doing this, let me do this podcast. <laughs> oh man, I'm on the hunt for national treasure. It's <laughs> actually what I'm doing. <laughs> oh man. Also, I keep hearing this weird noise that sounds like the motion tracker in Aliens. <laughs> what are you playing, Jason? <clears throat> well, I was about to play. Um, fall out new vegas but then i went on vacation so i am currently playing and i have uh, logged a, a small amount of time on this while i'm here uh earthworm gym 2 oh, cool. oh. um thanks to uh yeah thanks to gog uh dot com where i picked that up nice. and um it's uh, it's really fun and I, I never really played it i played the hell out of the first one but i, for mm-hmm. some reason, I never played the second one so I was on the Genesis game, right? Yep. Nice. Yep. Takes a little bit of uh, a little bit of gumption to get the PS4 pad um, working because I brought my PS4 controller with me. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, once you get it working, it's really good. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I played that one either. I know I played the first one. It's it's basically more of the same, but it's it's yeah. Fun. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I am playing. Force. Oh yeah, you're still playing both Bro Force. <laughs> I had to throw that in. I, I haven't played it in ages, and I just fired it up uh, yesterday. Oh okay. I thought you were playing that last time we talked. No, no, I was playing. Um, I was about to play uh, Fallout. Okay. The, how is Bro Force? Uh, it looks like stupid fun. That's exactly what it is. Nice. It's um, it's just ridiculous. Um, how many action movie characters they managed to work into this game without, <laughs> without licensing. <laughs> oh, man. Can't you be like I, a crocodile or something? Oh, I don't know about that. Um, you could oh. probably be Crocodile Dundee. He's probably in there. <laughs> I mean, yesterday I played as Ash, Robocop, um, <laughs> John McClane from Die Hard, um, Rambo... Schwarzenegger from like three different movies. <laughs> nice. Uh, the, the greatest is Schwarzenegger's Conan character because uh, he's in there, <laughs> and when you do his special move, which is like this big jumping sword slash, he goes. Yeah. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so great! Oh my god, is Kindergarten Cop in there? Is John Kimball in there? Oh my god, you know what? I don't know, but now, <laughs> now I hope it is. It's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Detective John Kimball. <laughs> <laughs> I played around with that soundboard for. Like oh my god, I did it. too. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I was I took it back to the old days, dude. I was like calling my friends, and I was like, "Who is your daddy?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm One of the best soundboards. <laughs> <laughs> best soundboard ever. Yeah. Did you guys see the second one? No. Nope. Have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dolph Lundgren's in it. Know. I don't know if I can watch it. I mean, I kind of want to, oh. but then I don't know. I don't know. We should do a review for the site. <laughs> we should. You? I'll review it. We should. No, we should all watch it together somehow and then record us talking about it. Okay. Yes, we, we totally do. should. I'll, I'll <laughs> I don't know how we can make that happen, but we should do that. That, that might be a new niche thing for us. Oh my God, I love it. We can get some riff tracks going up in here. <laughs> uh, okay. I am playing some Overcooked, and I will have a game review for that in the next couple of days. Oh. Um, a little sneak peek. It's amazing. I freaking love it. So now I gotta just think of a bunch of corny food puns. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't spoil the review any, but I was gonna, I was going to yeah. ask, you know, can you talk about it at all? But yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's fun, and I highly recommend it. But uh, yeah, awesome. I'll have a review on that. And then, um, you know, I'm still playing some Kerbal Space Station. Um, it's again, I, after playing some more, having some more time with it, I really like it. But man, it is, it's really in depth and really. Not intense, but it's just like it's a space sim, so you gotta like do everything right, or your guys blow up in the orbit, and I don't know how many people I've killed. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, those poor Kerbals. <laughs> Seriously. Um, and also have a review of that game up on the uh, site in the next couple days. So keep an eye Excellent. out for those. Yeah. So. Excellent. Some good little plugs there. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, Summer Backlog, if you just had, if time permitted, what's one game you would just sit down and uh, play through to the end? Eric? Mm. Or just in summer? Just just one day in the summer. The Bioshock series, all three games. Damn. Wow. Yep. That'd be quite the yep. playthrough. That's heavy. You, know, you probably could do I that in a day, though. Probably could. I don't know. Wasn't Infinity kind of infinite? Wasn't that kind of um, that one was a little longer, wasn't it? I think it was. It seemed longer to me. Eric, you I played it, right? Was you think yeah, that was longer than the other two. I haven't really played it since it launched. I played it like five times when it came out. I haven't played it since. But when I was in high school, I played through both Bioshock One and Two in one day. Without wow. like, if I that's all I, I did it in eight hours. I beat both games. So, eight hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I do probably do all three if I really wanted to. I could do all three. That's impressive, dude. That is. I was. Uh, it was like I was really proud of it at the time, but now I'm like, wow, I just had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I jeez, four hours for each of those games, dude. I get so lost in those games, like. Take me an hour just to get through like the first part of my game. <laughs> I played the tutorial, you know, so I I I knew the inside and out. Yeah, that's true. I listen to like all the uh, you know all the recordings and I poke around the scenes and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Um, what about you, Jason? Yeah. You can just sit down and play one game or a series of games. Oh uh, <laughs> boy. Um, you know, I might, I might take, uh, you know, uh, just listening to Eric talk about it. Um, <laughs> Bioshock is mighty tempting, because <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, I love those games. Yeah, they're um, good. But uh, probably, uh, you know, I'd probably have to go with uh, Fallout. Um, yeah. You know, it's, I keep meaning to play these games. You know, there's there's a lot of stuff that. Uh, over the last like five years that I haven't gotten a chance to play because they'll just be like way too in depth and way too yeah. long, um, and I can't fit them into to my schedule. But I, you know, the Fallout games in general. So like Fallout Three, um, I barely played Fallout Three and uh, New Vegas and stuff like that. I, th those games I would like to play all the way through because everybody's always talking about how fantastic they are. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, you know, kind of funny how we were all ripping on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but uh, I just went and picked it up, and I played it, <laughs> and I kind of like it. So. I love it. Dude, I actually kind of do. <laughs> you know, you know what? I'll tell you. I was, I was uh, after we stopped recording. I was like, uh, you know, I, I made that sound really awful because it, it wasn't. Um, yeah. But, uh, but it just, just like for me, it's a, it was another one of those games that just was too meandering. So, mm -hmm. like as far as my schedule goes, I wouldn't really have time to get into it as. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what I'm running into. And I'll just pick it up and maybe play for an hour or two here or there throughout the week. And, you know, yep. um, I, I really like it. I think they fixed a lot of stuff from Unity. And it's just, you know, it's action packed. It's faster. Um, the fighting, the fighting's pretty fun now, too. Um, and you get this little grappling hook now. And so you don't have to, like, climb up the side of the buildings. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, and then they, you know, they switched around the mission structure and it's, it's still repetitive. You know, there's only, what is it? Four or five different types of missions you're doing, but it's a lot yeah. more fun. It's a lot, it's about, in, it's like, um, infiltration. So that's pretty fun. And I kind of dig that there's two protagonists. I like mm -hmm. the, the twin brothers or the, the twins. Um, so you know, I'm just really, I'm enjoying that. So that's probably what I just sit down and do. You know what? I'm I'm just thinking too. The the first two uh, Batman Arkham games, uh, I would totally play back to back, back, play all the way through. Are we there? Do you want to talk about the uh, No Man's Sky leak and then wrap it up? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, no, so, I don't know too much about this. So what what okay. happened? So, to anybody who's unaware, there's this redditor who apparently spent you know over a thousand dollars on a pre-release copy of No Man's Sky from eBay. And has been posting leaks to Reddit. Um, oh my god! Basically, what I got out of this is that he said that if you rush through, you can get to the center of the galaxy between eight and ten, maybe twelve hours. Um, when the creators of the game said that was going to take hundreds of hours to do, if that's what he did, so that's a little interesting to me. Um, I'm probably going to pick this game up regardless. Maybe not right at launch, but I'm excited for this. Yeah. Have you watched any of the videos, Eric? Yeah, no. Um, yeah. I want to stay. With I mean, I don't know why. You know, if the universe is so big, it's not like I'm going to run into anything they're saying. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But, oh man, I I've watched I've watched like one minute of a video just because you know I've been I've been following the story pretty closely and I go to the No Man's Sky Reddit pretty much daily just to check out stuff. Sorry, and um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I was I was really shocked. Uh, because it shows this guy show you know he takes pictures of himself opening the game and he's just like um, I don't know and he's kind of a, a douchebag about it and he's just like I'm gonna post videos every day from here until the launch and like even Sean Murray's like you know he's like setting up accounts on Twitter and like trying to say hey you know stop doing this he set up like a YouTube account and he's just like please stop doing this and he's just like he's going after him. But um, obviously, all the videos keep getting taken down. Um, but uh, they just pop up everywhere, man. So, and I, I don't so, know what. Or go ahead. Is he? I was gonna say, is the guy like genuinely excited about it? And he's like, hey, I want to show yeah. everybody this cool thing. Or is he just yeah. like, I want to spoil things. I think he wants to, sh from what I've seen, he just wants everyone to see the game. I don't think he's out okay. to get spoilers. He says there are spoilers. He doesn't care about that. But he, from what I keep hearing, uh, Eric, maybe I'm wrong on this. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, he, he just, like, he loves the game and he wants everyone to see it. I mean, like I said, I haven't watched any. I mean, I know about the leaks. I haven't watched any videos or anything like that. So I don't know exactly what's going on with them. I, but, like uh, I said, uh, I've watched the one video, but I've been reading a lot of the posts and the guy is just like, he's like, I don't care about, you know, spoiling it. Like I said, he just wants everyone to see the game. So Yeah, that kind of sucks, though. Yeah. It does. But it does. It's not trying to spoil stuff and put stuff out. Why wouldn't you listen to the creator of the game? Like, just enjoy it for yourself. I don't exactly. Know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of jacked up what he's doing, but at the same time, you also have a choice not to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Well, yeah, that's true. And like me, I'm not watching it, but mm -hmm. I think that if he really just wants to enjoy the game, he should just enjoy the game. He doesn't need to stress all these people out, meet the creators of the game mainly, by putting them on the internet. I think he can just play it. That's and, true. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that people who... I'm not saying that people who don't want spoilers shouldn't watch it. I mean, they shouldn't. Yeah. And 
I mean, that's not the problem. I think that this is more out of respect to the creators of the company. He can enjoy the game early mm-hmm. and not everybody out who worked hours and hours and hours on this game. Basically. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I kind of agree with that too. You know, you, getting a game early is is like a special kind of a thing. For it is. You. I, I don't. I don't see why you have to. Like, I got. Uh, I remember years and years and years ago, I got Super Mario Brothers three a uh, week early because for some reason the story usually went to got it in. Um, mm-hmm. and it was. It was really cool. It's a really great feeling. You know, obviously back then there's no, you know, yeah. YouTube or anything like that to stick it on. But I. I, I wouldn't have done it anyway because it's just yeah. like you want to play through it. You know, talk with your friends about it and stuff like that. And that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like I mean, nice attention. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he's. I think he's doing it more for the attention. I think he's like bragging about it. That's also kind of what I got from it too. Is he's like, "Hey, look, everyone, I got this game for. I got it two weeks early. Like, I'm a big deal now." And I kind of get that because um, whenever we get review copies or something, I always feel like it's a little special that we get a game like Overcooked mm-hmm. that's not out yet, and we get to play it, and I, I love it. So that's cool. Um, and I had a similar experience. Um, the Ocarina of Time. I got that game early because. Like you're uh, the guys at the, they just didn't know the release date or they messed it up and they sold it to me. So, and I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you know, back then, and you know, I didn't go brag to my friends or anything. It was just, it was just a special experience that I got to play the game early before everyone else. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember with Super Mario Brothers, I just had my buddies over my house and we we played a little bit and it was great. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'd probably brag to my friends, but that's maybe that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I just don't have any friends to brag to. Oh no! <laughs> You've got us, man. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> well, I can't really brag to you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, release date for No Man's Sky? What is it? It's like August fourteenth or something August, like that. August ninth. Ninth. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So I mean, it, it comes out relatively soon. I mean, what ten days? So, yeah. but well, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be, I'm definitely picking that game up. Um, I've been so pumped for this game since when, what was it, 2013 when they first started releasing footage of it. So, it's been a while. Yeah. Dude, it's been a long time. And they've been in development for five years, like Sean Murray was saying. So, wow. I was really but, excited about it. Um, and then I kind of found out how big it was. Uh, mm-hmm. And, it's and while while at the same time I don't want to crap all over that because that is phenomenal. Yeah. But for me personally, it's going to be another one of those games that I just will not have time to get into. So exactly, it's it's intimidating I have to think about how big this game is. Yeah. So I mean I don't know I and I don't know I'm going to get it I know I'm going to get it but now I'm probably going to play it for like forty to sixty hours and then it'll kind of fall off to the side. Um, but I don't know. I'm still going to get it. I think it's going to be awesome. It'll be a great experience. Right. You may be able to at least, you know, get to see the major sites and get to the center of the galaxy. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I don't know though. At the same time, games like this with me, I get so sidetracked that I'm just like, before I know it, I'm like 50 hours in and I, I'd be one of those players who never left the planet. <laughs> 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 I've really explored this one planet. <laughs> yeah, I know this two by two kilometer square like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys so. have any, if you guys get this, do you have any plans to wipe out any species or anything or? No, destroy? that's horrible. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I just have not <laughs> I mean, Lord. That's all. I didn't say I was going to do it. Gosh. <laughs> Man, there's going to be horror stories of this. You're amazing. Oh, my I'm God. Gonna... <laughs> and then that's, there you go. That's all you need to know. There you go. Eric is basically Galactus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys, have you guys been watching any of the IGN videos about the gameplay? No, no. I haven't seen any. Oh, there's this one video, and um, it's like Ryan McCaffrey or something, and him and Sean Murray are playing, and, you know, Sean Murray's just showing them the sights, and they're having a fun time and everything, and, you know, Sean Murray is more about the exploring and being friends with all the animals, and then he gives it to this other character from IGN, and this guy just starts blasting everything away, and he's like, I can't wait to be a space dick, and he's just, like, killing everything, and, dude, like, Sean Murray's kind of not uncomfortable, but he was just like, this is not what this game's about, you can tell he was not happy about it, but but he's kind of laughing it off at the same time because uh-huh. it is funny just to go around and blast things. But you know, I don't know. Well, McCaffrey, I think, is a big uh, 
shooter guy, if I remember correctly. So I'm not surprised at that. (laughs) But it was just funny because, like, Sean's like, yep, there's going to be a bunch of space douchebags like you. And he's like, and McCaffrey's like, I think the majority of people are going to be like me. And I mean, sad, but he might be right. (laughs) Oh, he's definitely right. I mean, if you give people the option, that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But who's yeah, not to say I don't get drunk one night and just have a fun old time destroying a species? How could you, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Anybody have anything to plug? Follow, uh, follow our San Diego Comic-Con coverage. Um, yes. Again, we'll have tons more. There's lots of stuff up. I will have plenty more this coming week, including a couple of interviews. Nice. Exciting. And then um, also check out our Extra Life promotion page. Uh, We'll be doing our Brutal Gamer um, edition. And we love raising money for the Children's Hospital. So please take a moment to check that out and even donate. Definitely. Let's push that meter up. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at that. It's important. What was our record? It's like been 800 bucks. Yeah, I think I close to a thousand one year. Yeah. But I mean, this is the first year that we've had it like uh, front and center on the website. That kind of a thing. Yeah. Thanks to Mac, he put that up there. We should um, do. Uh, we should try to do something where we could all play games together or something, or do something. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I and agree. then uh, speaking of that, after this podcast, I got some clerical things I need to discuss with you, Jason. <laughs> all right. Very good. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's all I got to plug. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything to plug. I, like I said um, earlier, I was actually at the DNC all like almost all much done. But uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, be on the lookout for more news and reviews coming from me soon. Eric is a busy man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Holy cow! I was following he's, that coverage. He's breaking into the DNC. I'm just let him <laughs> tell you that story. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say that. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of scary. If uh, I mean, nothing malicious happened, but yeah. I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, uh, this is Eric Martin. You can follow me on Twitter at Eric underscore Martin 32. And Rick? Yeah, this is Rick Brown. Thanks for listening, everyone. Really enjoyed this week's podcast. You can find me on Twitter at DocBrown303. And, Jason. and and this is Jason, editor in chief of BG. And you can find me on Twitter at Jason underscore T A S. Also, special last minute plug: you can find Nicolas Cage everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next week. <laughs>